go to Capitol Hill for more on this. Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz is a Republican on the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman Chaffetz, what's question one for the Attorney General? Well, what did he know and when did he know it? Uh, to what degree is it a combination of incompetence versus maybe potentially a cover-up? You have the senior most people in the administration saying that they never saw this, they didn't know about it, but we have memo after memo after memo where the underlings were trying to tell leadership what was going on. You have uh, wiretaps that were put in place where somebody of very great seniority has to sign off on these things. The president promised us in a March interview that somebody be held accountable. Nobody has been fired to date. Nobody's taken that responsibility. How, are the, how is the administration, how is President Obama going to actually fulfill that promise? Openness, transparency, and accountability. It hasn't happened. You know, I have a target pistol. I like to go shooting. In New York State, in order to get a, a, a permit for that pistol, I had to get four notarized affidavits from people who know me. I had to provide my fingerprint, all of that kind of stuff. These are just guns, high-powered weaponry that are just being sent across the border, perhaps even with the help of federal agents? Well, by the thousands. That's what's so troubling. If they had taken a 1,000 or 2,000 weapons and left them on a playground, this country would be furious. But that's exactly what they did. Not only did they leave them on the playground, they gave them to the bad guys that we knew were killing people. In Mexico, according to the Los Angeles Times, there's something like 200 people in Mexico that have died on the other end of these guns. We have a dead U.S. agent, and yet we have an administration with people saying, well, I didn't really read the memo. That's not acceptable. And they continue to thwart our ability to investigate this. Chairman Issa, Senator Grassley have done a great job. But we have literally just like one legal box of documents. And when we got the document dump last Friday, over 1,400 documents, there's discussion in there as to whether or not they were going to give us these documents. That's not what the law says. So there's a lot of questions for the AG at this point. All right. Well, answer the political questions, though. You just mentioned uh, Chairman uh, Issa. You mentioned Senator Grassley. You yourself, a Republican. All three of you Republicans. Is this a Republican attempt to embarrass a Democratic administration? No. I, I, look, I, we have to make sure that what the president said in March, which I totally concur with, he said that we would get to the bottom of this, the mistakes we're probably making, and that they would hold people accountable who are responsible for this. That hasn't happened. That was the Democrat President Obama saying this. We have an obligation to make sure that this never, ever happens again, regardless of the administration. There are even letters from uh, underlings of the attorney general saying that they misled congressional committees here or they provided incomplete information. They did that letter that they sent to Senator Grassley in February where they purposely lied to Congress. That is totally unacceptable. So not only is there going to be an IG, there was an investigator general that is in place within the Department of Justice. But part of my question is, are there going to be any criminal prosecutions within the Department of Justice of government officials? Because at this point, I don't think you can come to a conclusion other than there are people that potentially committed crimes in lying to Congress and doing so on purpose. And the attorney general will be appearing before your committee tomorrow, correct? Yes, the Judiciary Committee uh, on Thursday morning. We look forward to it. We will be uh, certainly watching it very closely here. Thanks very much, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, Republican of Utah.